What's up everyone and welcome back to the channel. It's me Kaz at Liverpool bringing you more infinite magic Maker content. Now we are going to be focusing on Hezonia today. Um, some people have requested Hezonia so we're going to cover Hezonia and say why he is so good. Talk about his exclusives, emblems, auras and equipment. We'll showcase where he is very good as well. So before we get into the video do click like, subscribe and comment below to help the channel grow. I can't thank you all enough. So First off, we're going to start on his skills. Now, his basic attack deals 100% attack damage to an enemy and two random enemies, with a 40% chance to inflict one layer of health burning for two turns. This does increase up to 80%. So, it's a very good basic attack, especially when you're using it as well as a counter attack as well. It really does spread around that health burn. Now, his second active skill is Bully, which deals 200% attack damage to a single enemy. Meanwhile, deals extra damage by 3% of maximum health to a target for every layer of health burning, up to five layers all enemies have. The damage of each layer caps at 8% of Hazonia's maximum health, and the extra damage is considered as health burning damage. Now, the layers here obviously do increase as we increase it, so we can hit, for, we can block by basically instantly. Uh, we'll move on to his passive. Now, this is what makes his Zonia so wonderful, to be honest, because he deals 16% more health burning damage, which goes up to 24% health burning damage um, when it's upgraded. So, with that being said, he is dealing more damage than other health burners because of this. Now his act, final active skill, Dragon Flame, deals 200% attack damage to all enemies, with a 60% chance to inflict one layer of health burning for two turns. But not only does this deal this, it also explodes. It also explodes um, the, the health burn currently on the enemy. So that is actually super, super strong. Um, we're going to go and have a little look into his exclusives and uh, which ones make him amazing. Obviously, level one additionally triggers health burning to deal damage once. This is massive, exclusive one. Exclusive level two is also massive because he can deal 15% more health burning damage. So, you know, that that's really nasty. Level three, bully increases each layer's extra damage to 5% of the target's maximum health. Meanwhile, each layer's maximum damage to 16% of Mazonia's maximum health. Obviously, the final two increase speed, but you also get the increase on cap on health rate, attack rate, and defense rate. So it's always a big improvement to your health burner because they have more health to burn. Okay, so let's have a look at his emblems and what I have him built has. Yes, you can snip this and then build this for yourself as well. We will go through the emblems like we always do on our builds and showcases. So without further ado, we take health increase. We take uh, oneself as a shield. Damage taken is reduced. Uh, selfish, which is when inflicting a layer of buff or debuff. Self speed increases um, up to five times. Magic touch is a chance to reduce our cooldowns. And then more is better for targets of lower speed than self. Effect is increased. However, we don't have his on your build too fast because we want our other health burners to go before him. So bear that in mind as well. Now we obviously take the attack rate increase rather than crit rate. Uh, we take damage doubt and damage taken increase because this will increase all of our damage on the enemy. Unexpected attack when self health is full, damage doubt is increased further. Uh, the last stand to self dot damage doubt is increased up to five times. We we'll take arrogant before the end of the first turn of each wave, direct damage doubt is increased. Now this one isn't huge, but comparing it to the others that we have to select, I would rather take this one. You could possibly take the rescuer before the end of the first turn each wave. Effect it is increased. So bear that one as well in mind. Uh, when self is a buff, damage dealt is increased. Payoff all scores. So for targets with a damage over time debuff, damage over time dealt is increased. Uh, weak point when attacking targets whose health is above 50%, damage over time is increased. And then we have brave enemies when attacking targets whose health is higher than self, damage dealt is again increased. Uh, we also take long term bases. This is because it increases our mastery by 30%. So this is a very, very good one as well. Now that is it for the emblems. Let's have a little look at the auras that we could use. I used Dwarven Blessing Aura. Yes, it is fully upgraded. It's only level 20. However, it's not fully uh, past, you know, it's, it's not fully, fully, fully maxed. Uh, this this increases our health outside of Dwarven Ruins by 18% and also when we're inside Dwarven Ruins it's increased by a further 50%. So after that, well I'll say before that, if you're on greens you're going to want to take the range hit or every one enemy target increases self effect hit up. That means we don't have to stack so much into effect hit and we can focus on some other stats as well early on in the game. Um, without that you could take um, uh, the, the Mastery Expert Aura as well to increase our Mastery when we're above 50% health. That is going to increase your damage. Um, do, 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 master surge or that's not great for his on you. You could put this on a support hero to further increase the damage, however, from your uh, health burners. Um, hit master aura could be a decent one as well if you're slacking or you know not not doing great in effect. Hit this can increase that further. 
Um, other than that, you're going to want to have the Hit Grandmaster Aura, which is effective and health increase, which is super, super strong. It's a 27% flat increase on your health rate, plus the higher stats too. So yes, but it's a legend. I know, I know it's a legend. So it's a long, a long, long way away. Um, which is the other one here we could use... No, that is pretty much your selection. So, I mean, a Dwarven Blessing Aura is a very, very good aura. Um, and moving on to his equipment, how do we build his on you? Well, how we build him is very, very easy. Um, we're just going to focus on his health. We're going to focus on his effective and mastery. Don't worry too much about the speed. Yes, okay, you are going to have to have some speed to be faster than the enemy, but you want him to be slower than your other health burners in your team because he will be exploding the health burn that they managed to put on the enemies. So it's very good to have him go after your other health burners. Same in Leo, Ockman, Hoff, um, Sigmund, those kind of heroes. Now, effect it obviously should be above 70%, 80%, 85% if you can get it later game. Uh, I have 102%, it's kind of high. Um, I could reduce this a bit and maybe increase my health a bit further or mastery. The gear isn't amazing on this hero. It could be a bit better. I'm just waiting for some more pieces. Uh, the sets that we would choose would either be um, the affected uh, set. We could use the um, do, 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 do. we could use feather set as well for the health and speed. But again, we was just talking about speed, so maybe not quite so in, in late game. Um, the hate health and mastery set is fantastic. Uh, the trouble is, is getting the pieces for that. But I would much rather be using this because it's very easy to stack our health and our mastery, which is increasing all of our damage. Um, accuracy set is also very good. Mastery and a it increase and the first aid set as well is pretty good but we don't want him to be too fast remember that and he is only gaining really from the effect it here so there are better options with the accuracy the health and mastery set um do, 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 the effect hit set so try and focus on to those if you can and let's have a little look at the gear stats that we do aim for uh, as you can see it's health rate and mastery effect it is your other option that you should be focusing for so health rate affects it some speed can be useful like i said earlier as well this pair here really need, do need an upgrade we're not gaining from anything other than effect resistance here um and the health rate is very minimal so you can see that there is improvements to be had as well attack rate is doing nothing really uh mastery is the only thing helping here and well, no roles into affect it now for our artifacts we're going to want to go for mastery as our first artifact try and get health rate try and get speed and affect it as well on that for our second artifact go for affect it mastery health rate if you can get it some speed as well you know if if your other health burners are faster for the final piece i have chosen health right now that's because that's because he would be fast when everyone else if i put this on him um so i've gone for health affect it and health rate well i don't have health rate rolled here we did get a little bit of speed it's a really bad artifact but it's all that i have access to right at this moment so um if you can and you know you're, he is going to be slower go for speed focus affect it health rate and mastery um if not go for the health one choose um affect it health rate and mastery again it's you know it's those three stats that we really really want okay so we've spoken about his on we've discussed him um where is he very good how do we use him and how good is he so let's have a look at some of the content we will go into the campaign we usually do this on a showcase the only one I didn't do this on was agatha that's because um it wasn't really viable for that so we're going to go into um campaign 12 10 We'll go in with Catherine, his Anya, and Melia, just so we can sh I can show you uh, how the, the how it works with someone going beforehand when we're exploding that health burn. So the first wave we will we will do that straight away. Or no, we'll, we'll do this counter attack for this wave, and then the next wave we'll pop our um our abilities. So you can see the basic always hits three enemies. And now we should we should build up quite a good amount of um, health burn here with the counter attack from his Anya onto the enemies here. Uh, who's left highest? Carried, so we'll target him down. Select carry, and then they should, they should all be dead now. Um, or they will be. There we go. Okay, so this wave we're going to explode. Uh, we'll just use consolidation. Don't know why I'm using that, but I am. Um, so if we watch here, we're going to put health burn on everyone. So everyone has health burn, and now we're going to explode it with his Anya's skill 4. You can just watch the damage, it's insane. 
I mean, it, like it just triggers it all, and then it puts another layer on it as well. And now, obviously, it's 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 a clear wave. So we're on to the final boss, and yes, we did just use our ultimates, uh, but it won't be an issue here, especially the counter attack. And we we'll use a second ability there from Amelia, and we we'll use Bully. So Bully will explode this current two layers on the boss, as you can see. Okay, so the boss died from the health burn, but you can just see how strong health burn is. I mean, uh, Hazonia did 10 million, Malia did 6.7. Now, Hazonia is better for clearing waves than Malia, but Malia can seem to, on her own, she can solo a lot of bosses because she can stack up the health burn in comparison to, to Hazonia. Hazonia can't stack it quite as well, and I forgot I was in the middle there, so I do apologize if I covered any of the screen. Um, let's move on to a dungeon. Let's have a little look at uh, Rum. We'll, we'll watch Rum quickly, go straight into the battle here. But, okay, this is from the last video. Um, yeah, okay, we'll use um, we'll use Luna, Catherine, Malia, Hoff, and his Donya. You know, because with this, we can see how Hoff helps this as well. We could have brought Sigmund in, but I feel like that would have been a bit cheeky. So the first wave, we will nuke. So that when we come into the final wave, we have all of our ultimates available. So here we go with Hoff going in. Melia with her health burn, and then Hisonia will blow all of this up, and the enemies are basically dead, especially when they go to have a turn, they're, they're ruined. And you can see there that, that um, Hoff is granting Hisonia extra turns as well, it's very, very nice. Now we have counter attack on this wave, and we will slowly progress through these. Well, you would hit Walter. Be interesting to see if we get enough stacks on Horus here so that he may not actually get a turn come the end here because Hazonia is stacking with the counter attacks. There we go. And these two should also be dead now. There we go. Okay, so we're on to the final wave, and this is against a Rum. Obviously, Naskama is a pain in the butt. Um, we'll put Feebleness on him. We won't put Feebleness on him because it didn't work. Uh, we will increase our health, and now we'll start the nuking process off. We can leave Naskama there and put health burn on to the boss, and we'll nuke those other two down. We did lose a hero there. We did lose someone there, um, but it was Melia, so we can just go through with his Anya now. And we'll leave it on auto, we'll leave it on auto. But you can see that we have the five health burns up. It's going to be hard here now to keep the uh, the health burns high with Melia dead. However, Luna will revive uh, Melia in a moment. But um, the counter is doing a very, very good job too. So it's not actually looking too bad. And now Melia is back alive. She just survived there, luckily. Um, and then she will heal up nicely now. But Hazonia with a health burn team can really activate it. You see in a way that he can destroy uh, destroy waves just by his, his explosions. Um, so that was that cleared. He did 27 million. Malia did 15. Hoff did 11. Um, and, you know, really just showcases how strong he is, especially when he has other health burn heroes at his disposal. Uh, we won't go into... Oh, you know what? We will do a quick Nagir run. Um, we'll just use the, the team that I have been using, which is... Um, this one, so we can show you here as well. Now there are ways that you can use them in PvP, but it really does rely on the likes of Focas, uh, because if Focas is resetting his on his second turn to go again. It can be pretty pretty nasty. I mean, he just works so great with Catherine, uh, uh, Melia, uh, Luna and Alec as well. You know, it's just, it's just such a wonderful team, the way that the counters come up and then we can just, you know, put put the health burns up and, and just go, just take it away. Like it's... Then come boss time. Obviously, smart casting is set up here so that we're ready to go into the boss. However, Catherine there going in with another counter attack, which isn't going to help very much. So Melia will go first with the health burns, and now Hazonia will explode those, causing the ads to die. Now it is only stage 28, so this team will blitz it, um, which you're witnessing here.
So that should be the dead now, and the damage stats are 19 million from Hazania, 21 from Milia, and then obviously the rest are there for support. So let's have a little look at PvP team. Um, we're going to throw in the likes of Hoff, Sigmund, and uh, Hazania. Let's target some without Nasil first. If we can go for, I mean, this team here is pretty nasty, which Dejire is using with Catherine Nascarma, Alec is on it in space. Um, but I think it may be okay. We'll try it. We'll give it a shot. We'll give it a whirl. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, what do we leave Luna in? No. Yes. No. Yes. Yes. Hazonia, um, we'll take out a lane up for Amelia. No, you know what? We're going to nuke it down. Um, we need speed then, don't we? Right, you know what? We'll throw Tuck in as well for the health explosion. Just, yeah, the health cap increases to, just to see kind of how much damage it does. And don't forget, Elik is going to be taking a lot of the, um, the hits here. So here we will freeze. Oh, well, nice resistances. Okay, we're going to throw on our first layer of health burn. That gets, did it get cleansed by his Catherine? Is his Catherine high enough? Don't know if he was. Or she was, sorry. Um, so we probably uh, target... Do, 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 uh, we'll target his on, yeah. I know he's going to put on a layer of health bar onto us, but when we come to blow up his health, it should be enough. It should be enough. Now, can we freeze anyone here? We do, and then we can to ourselves with a shield and now we're, we're gonna we're gonna hit we could have put elena in here to strip the buffs but we're gonna explode to see just quite how much damage we do and we have that health cap on so you can see it did a good amount alex not quite dead catherine survived wow um and we're gonna throw this on to naskama we're gonna protect her because she could go down who is our target oh, catherine who is the target here oh wow Anyone we can explode? Nope. So we're going to throw on a basic here. This is, this, is, this is looking nasty. There is a health link. Wow. He could actually pull this off. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. Okay. It was closer, but you can see the health burn can work, but we could have cleared that a much easier with direct damage team. But you can use health burn teams in classic arena as well. The same as advanced arena. Uh it's probably more suited to advanced arena because um you know we have less teams that we can build. So Amelia, Hazonia, um Catherine, that kind of team does work very nice. If you have a focus you can really really utilize him. So that is it for our Hazonia showcase and build. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you click the like, subscribe and comment below to help the channel grow. Take care, everyone, and I will see you all next time on the channel.